to get real. 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 Alright, I'll start. Alright. Alright, guys, welcome back to another episode of Get Real, uh, hosted get by. Real. What? <laughs> Nothing. I just said get real, like I whispered it. Oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I thought someone said something. I was like, what? No. Like, oh, no. oh, yes. Get real, hosted by me, Peniel of B2B. Me, BM from Car. <laughs> Forgot and about me, it. Ashley. All Yay. right. Yes. Yay. And yes, we are here to get honest about all the ups and downs of young adulthood, but from our perspectives. Our perspective. And, and today it is us three again. Yes. Yes. No guest. No guest. Original gang. The uh, OGs. OG. 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 OGs. Today we're going to be talking about role models. Role all right. models. Who were our role models growing up? How have our mentors impacted our lives? And how do we feel about being role models ourselves? Yeah. All right. All right. Yo. If there's anything you guys want to hear our take on, interact with us on our socials at The Dive Studios. Or leave us a comment when our full episodes uh, go up a few days after the audio posting on youtube.com slash divepods. And also remember, subscribe to the podcast on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. Leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Five, five stars, stars only. Five stars. Yes, yes, yes. So more people can know about this awesome show. Because spread the positivity and good energy, Yo. bro. Yeah, bruh. Yo. All right. Let's get right into it. Yo. Okay, bruh. Who were your role models growing up? Yo. <laughs> Tupac. Tupac. Tupac was the Tupac. man when I was growing up. Tupac. Hold on. I lost the… Was he your yeah, role model in just terms of music or just himself? Like as a person? Well, were when you I first that got thug into <laughs> When I first got into <laughs> rap, I wanted to. I was so influenced by it. Really? Like, wow. When I first got into hip-hop and rap, that's who like got me into it. I was watching like Tupac music videos on BET. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, dang, it looks so dope. What was dope about Tupac and was really inspiring about him is because um, in, in, in his journey as a rapper, at first he was talking about like killing people and like, you know, doing drugs and like right, smash right. your wife, yada, yada, yada. But… He he switched it up. He was like, oh, he's got a younger generation listening to him now. So he he talked about being good to your mom, being good oh, wow. to a woman, right, right, um, right, right. You know, uplifting like, um, you know, people that are are living in poverty and 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 spreading a good message. So like, I kind of like grew message. with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, like but, at first I was like, oh snap, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. click, click, bow, kill everybody, ah. Ah, dog life, dog life. Yeah, but then after he switched into that, like when I started maturing, I was like, oh, okay, that's the route I gotta go. You know, so mm. he had like a very good influence on me too. You want to put um, like a positive message in your song and stuff? Yeah, yeah. That. Him, Tupac, and J. Cole. Ooh. Uh, there's a J. Cole song that like I always go to when I'm kind of feeling down. It's a uh, mm. Love Yours. Love Yours. Yeah, okay, okay, pretty okay, much okay. like being thankful for like what you have now mm. and, and not looking for like the stupid stuff in life. Right. Um, Not materialistic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That and I always… I, I, before I came to Korea… Or right when I came to Korea… Mm. Since then… And like… In like my Korean journey… Jay Park. Jay Park. Oh. Okay, okay. Big inspiration for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For a, a lot of Korean, Korean Americans, I feel like Jay yo, Park. Yo. Mm. Uh, yeah. Did you have a role model growing up? Yeah. Ooh. Did I? I don't know. No? No? I don't think so. Oh. Maybe not. It doesn't have let to be a celebrity. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Well, who is your… Oh my… Well, growing up… I mean, like right now, I have a role model. But I don't know about growing up. Mm. Maybe just always my dad. Mm. My mm. parents. Tight. Not my dad. Specifically my parents, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I think. Because… You know, it's like… I'm sure like all our parents, same boat. They like left everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they came to America. So I was like, oh dang. And then… It's like they they tried like for me my parents they didn't they weren't like the typical um, disciplining like Asian parents you know mm. mm-hmm. they just kind of let me be a kid when I was younger Dang. and then stuff like that so I just want to be like that for my kids mm. so that's why they're my role models what about you mm. nice mm. Ichori you mentioned a lot I mean that was when I was older a little bit older oh, okay when you were older. Like Ihori was my role model after I debuted, like I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Oh. I mean, I've always listened to Finkel since I was in mm-hmm. elementary school. Yeah. But Dang. I never got into it that far much in like 
to know her personality or what she's like as right, a person. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. Like I liked her music. Same with Boa. I uh-huh. looked up to her as a performer and as a singer. But I didn't know mm-hmm. what she was like okay. in person. It wasn't like she was mm-hmm. inspiring me as a human being. You know what I mean? Right, like right, she inspired right, right. me to want to become a singer and want to mm-hmm. dance and sing. But not really. I didn't want to like be like her as a person so to say. So mm. who do you yeah. want to… I feel like you're… Pulling off this concept right now, <laughs> really, uh, so to say, I wasn't trying to be like. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So, who was your or is uh-huh. your role model yeah. as far as, um, like you were saying, being a human being? I think my role model growing up were my church niece, mm. like my older sister at church. Mm. Okay. And you know how we talked about women with Joan a few weeks ago, and we yeah. talked, mm. someone asked how. There seems there seems not to be that many genuine friendships with girls. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like the reason why I'm, I have such good relationships with girls or friendships or yeah, genuine friendships with girls is because I grew up with so many of them and uh, yeah. they were so supportive and loving. Mm-hmm. I grew up in a community with a lot of girls. Like my church was mostly girls, so mm-hmm. our friendship w- went just beyond socializing. It was kind of being there. For each other emotionally Mm. and spiritually and mentally. Mm. So specifically it was like my Bible study teacher. Her name is Janet. She was only like five years older than me. But Mm. there were a lot of older people at my church. So she took on the role of being the Bible study teacher. But to me even at that young age she just seemed so wise to me. Mm. And I mean she was smart book smart. But she Mm. was also very wise. Mm. So street smart too. mm -hmm. So I always looked up to her. And I kind of told myself like that's how I would like to live my life. Um, So how do you think you've done? Um, <laughs> Put you on the spot like that. <laughs> I mean, thanks to her and my other church unnees, I feel like I didn't drift away as much as I could have. Mm-hmm. I had a conscious, you as know, as much. Yeah, mm-hmm. as much. Okay. When I was, I didn't rebel that much because in the back uh, of my head, I was like, "No, I shouldn't be doing this. Like, I know I'm better. Disappoint my I learned unnees. better. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I didn't fall too deep into it. Right, the, right, right. Mm. You know what this episode feels like? Oh, yeah. It feels like us two are evaluating her <laughs> life as a like the. <laughs> the and she so dressed up like she gonna, know, gotta evaluate us though. <laughs> okay, so your church honey, Janet. Mm. Shout out Janet, by the way. Yeah, Janet. Shout out Janet. For, you still keep in contact with her? Yeah, I mean, oh, not as much, but whenever I go to New York, I sometimes see her. We have a whole um, group chat with the girls of my oh, church. Okay, and okay. It's we're all in such different parts of life now. Some uh-huh. of them just had their first child. Oh, um, whoa. Some of them just got married. Uh, Janet, she has two girls already. And wow. Yeah. yeah, so we keep in touch from time to time. And it's like, even if we don't keep in touch, when we do meet, it's like, just it like the good right? old days. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't feel like… Like mm. you saw, it feels like you saw him yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, yeah. so grateful that I had such loving girls around me growing up, like females, um, who guided me in the right direction. Mm. So yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. you're a very unni figure yourself, yourself too. Mm. Like you feel like you're really. I don't know. I feel good. more comfortable around unnis than tongsengs. Really? Yeah. I mean, I do have a lot of younger. She wants Girls to be too? taken care of, not taken care of. <laughs> she doesn't want to do the taking care of. Maybe that's why all the things think she's scary the first time. Maybe. Oh yeah. Maybe. They do, they do, but I'm nice. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you're good with Hongzheng. She, she, she not scary. I've she never just s- looks scary. She's not scary. Yeah, she yeah I've never bear. seen her with undies before either. I don't think I have either. Yeah, I mean we don't have a lot of undies around us. Yeah. So I don't I've think. I've never seen you with undies actually. Mm. Yeah, oh, we're just old. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're just I old. Guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. All right. All right. But do you, wait, who? Well, mm. e, is Ehuri still your model right now? Then role model. Yeah, yeah. role model. Yeah. Right yeah. now, these days, do you mm-hmm. have like a role model these days? It's still Tupac. Yeah. Yeah. Tupac, J Cole, J. It's still the same. J Park. Still the same. Still yeah. the same. All right. All right. Mm. People who hustle. Yeah. My parents for me too. Same mm. thing. Do you guys think it's important to have a role model while you guys grow up though? I think it's a heavy influence on you. Yeah, I think for sure. You, you don't need a role model if you if you got yourself on lock. If you have like good self discipline and like mm. you know where you want to be and and you know a hundred percent. Yeah. But you know if if you see someone that's like 
damn, I need to live like that. I need to be like mm. that. And they're living like a really positive life or mm-hmm. or just doing stuff in a in a you know in a way that's beneficial to I my health and my future. And right, right. There's right. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I do definitely think role models kind of shape the way that you think and uh, you act and stuff. Especially mm-hmm. when you're younger. Yeah. yeah. It's like the way you dress and like mm-hmm. all that. Like the attitude and stuff like that. Especially your, mo- your role models when you're younger. Yeah. You look up to that so much. Because you're more like… Uh, what do you say? Like ignorant when you're younger? Or like it's like a blank slate when mm-hmm. you're younger. Yeah. You're easily so influenced. It's easy- yeah. It's like so easily influenced. So then the way you like act dress and everything like that especially mm-hmm. when you're younger i feel like it is pretty important to have a good role model when you're yeah. younger yeah and as you get older it's like you mature and like you know mm-hmm. it's like it's gonna change but no yeah for but, sure i think yeah yeah that's very true because when i was younger i would just copy my church on these all the time mm-hmm. see what they're wearing right yeah exactly wear that too mm-hmm. hang out the way they hang out. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, in junior high school, we all kind of went through the rebel stage where, you know, you're kind of a hangout and you um, kind of cut class or I don't know, you hang out with friends and go to singing like karaoke and go shoot that. pool. Well, that was how it was in New York. Uh, so then in junior high school, I was like that. And then in high school, when they all started studying and preparing for college, that's when I was like, okay, I got to study like them too. And then I started oh, okay. like, trying yeah, to see, be more yeah, studious. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it does influence a lot. Well, me a lot. I think I get influenced. No, I think a everyone. Lot. I think right? everyone, especially when you're young, because like we said, is that you're so easily influenced when you're young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what the word for it is, but yeah, it's, it's like a blank slate when you're younger. Mm-hmm. So definitely. Um, but I didn't cut class. I never cut class. I never cut class. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Actually, mm. I only yeah. did in high school. I never cut senior class. Senior year, I, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, making up now. Yeah, okay. You said junior high. Yeah, you did say no, no, I said high. they were. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you follow what they were doing in junior high and high school? No, yeah, I I knew they were cutting class, but late, I was girl. too much of a wussy. Ah, yeah, because okay. so I didn't want some. my mom to be disappointed. Yeah, my parents are still my role model because it's just like I don't know. I don't want like my dream isn't to be like crazy rich, live in a mansion or anything. I just want to live in like a normal like suburban house. Just be comfortable mm. and just be able to provide for my family. And I feel like that's what my parents did. So mm-hmm. like that's just how I want to be able to provide for my family. Ooh. Um, Yeah, I never like… They spoiled me a lot. I never really felt like… Oh, like I'm missing this. Or like I'm mean, if I was like… Okay, like I used to be so spoiled. I got a Thanksgiving present. What? <laughs> I convinced my dad to get me a Thanksgiving present. You were spoiled. Yeah, I remember because Halo came out. I think it was like Halo 2 or Halo 3. Halo I don't remember. Was the shit. Yeah, and I remember I went to my dad and I was like, like, Dad, can I get Halo, like, whatever for a Thanksgiving present? And my dad was like, Thanksgiving present? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And he was like, give me like three reasons why I should get you a Thanksgiving present. And I was like, it's Thanksgiving. You're, I was like, or I was like, oh, I was like, or he was like, yeah, give me like three reasons why I should get you a Thanksgiving present. And he was like, um, you love me. Uh, I want it. And <laughs> like, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I gave him like some like stupid, like three three stupid reasons. And he was like, all right, fine. And I was like, it was like, like, I was like pretty spoiled. So um, yeah, I just want to be able to like… For my kids too to have like the same experience I had as growing up. Mm. And then like I said, they didn't really punish me. For me, it was more like, oh, like I don't want to disappoint them. So mm. I got to step it up. Yeah. Um, Like like I told you guys, like I got a D on my midterm before. <laughs> and I was like… I like saw the disappointment in my parents' face. And I was like, alright, I got to study. I was like, they didn't hit me or anything though. So I was like, alright, yeah, I got to study. So it's like I just kind of want to be a parent like that. True. That's even That's scarier good. when they don't say anything. They just yeah. look at and they're like… No, but it wasn't even that. Like my, my dad was like… A D? He was like… Oh, it's okay. It's midterm, Aww. right? It's midterm. Like you could bring it up. They're so nice. So I was yeah. like… I was like… After that, I was like… Oh, I gotta bring it up now. <laughs> like… Oh shoot. Like… <laughs> so yeah, it's like that. Like I wanna raise my kids like that too. That's why they're Dang. my role models. I feel like if they're like you though… They'd be pretty easy to raise like that. No, like, I was a little… Brat? Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna say 
something yeah, else. Yeah, I was spoiled, bro. Like, because uh. my parents, you know, they don't really know like American culture, right? But mm. then like my sister knew like the American culture. So then like she would spoil me. Mm. And then my uh. parents would spoil me. So like everyone was just like spoiling me. Yeah. <sighs> we talked about our role models. But um, how did it feel like to be a role model now? Because I know a lot of people look up to you, look up to you and stuff. So how does it feel to like do you have any pressure of being pressures of being a role model or anything these days? Not really anything pressure, like but I do feel responsibility now. Like mm. what I say and what I do, someone's gonna be influenced and someone's gonna be like, oh I'm trying to be like that guy. Right, right, right. Then I might have to talk less about getting my ass whooped and stuff like that. But <laughs> um I think it makes me work harder. Yeah. Like as far as being an artist and like what I share on my platforms and whatnot. Mm. Mm -hmm. It makes me think twice. Makes you think twice. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? I don't know. I don't know what they see in me when they say I'm a role model. Like… Because sometimes I get messages and they're like… Oh you're my role model. But I'm like… What did I do? Uh, Why? (laughs) Why? 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 Why me? Why me? It's like you must be… An anti-fan in disguise. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> no. They mean it. But… I mean I'm grateful yeah, yeah, yeah. that no, yeah, they yeah. look up to me. But at the same time… It's… Um, yeah. It's, it's flattering. Know. It's highly flattering to the point where you're just like… Yeah. So I'm like… Yeah. I'm not worthy to be a role model. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. No. I feel the same way too. Like… Uh-huh. What? Why am I a role model? Like, <laughs> what do you what? see in me that I yeah, don't like, see in I myself? What did I do? <laughs> I was like… It's probably just you as a person. Your mm. whole aura. Your whole being. Mm. Being just like… Yeah. No. But you're very <laughs> chill no and laid and back. And very positive And just fun to be around. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah like… I like I don't know. I'm on like the same board as you too though. Mm. I see like comments all the time. I'm like… What did I do? Like why? Like I'm not a good role model. Like don't follow me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't do what I do. Like, <laughs> don't try to be me. But it's um, I do feel pressure sometimes. Mm. Cause it's like sometimes like I'm like oh I want to upload this, but then I'm like, eh, okay actually maybe I shouldn't. I'm like mm, eh, maybe not. Yeah. And it's like there's some stuff you want to say, and you're like eh, yeah maybe not. Yeah. Mm. But. Besides that, it's just like I don't. There isn't that much pressure because I feel like you're just kind of being you, and that's what they like about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then they look up to you, I guess. Because some yeah. people, like some rookie idols, will come up to me and say, "Oh, we used to cover your songs all the time as a trainee, like dance yeah. to Napunyaja for monthly valuation, and I love your songs." And I'm like, oh, "Cool." Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like we did it like for Warpyong. I'm like, which is a monthly evaluation. I actually did your songs for Warpyong. Oh, what really? the? Yeah. There you go. See, it's like, oh, yeah, because. Which yeah, song? I was like, uh, I think you said you did Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, dang, that's how. Because, wow. yeah, I didn't know how like late you debuted until the I last did. podcast. Uh. Yeah. And I was like, you debuted in 2017. Yeah. No. We've been Feels out. much longer. Yeah, I was like, we've been out five years already. Like, yeah. <laughs> dang. I was like, what? Yeah. So it's like, when I hear that, and then especially like younger idols, like they're so like energetic. It's like, oh, like, oh, like we really like your song. Blah, blah. I'm like, Summon him. Yeah. I'm like, ah, 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 ah thank you. Ha, ah, ah. So it's kind of awkward when they're like, especially when it's like face to face. Uh huh. I don't know how to… How do you deal with it? I feel… I don't know. Um, I feel pretty good. Yeah? I feel pretty good about it. Because… <laughs> the, I, like there was a certain moment that comes into head. When we were doing our bomb bomb promotions… Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. We… Uh, we… Um, we're doing it at the same time Stray Kids there. Stray Kids. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. Uh-huh. And then um, they were actually right behind us. I, f- I forget if it was for the, the show or if it was for a recording. Right, right, right. And then um, after we came down… Like I, you know, we we like say what's up to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't know each other at the time, and mm-hmm. then we did our uh, performance, and then we came down. They were all just like, <laughs> "Oh, <laughs> that must have felt so good." Yeah, I was like, 
Yeah, yeah. Clap a little more. Clap a little more. Yeah, they, you know, it felt good. So, and they were just like after after that, I talked to them a couple of times, and they're like, mm. "Dude, like, yo, you're sick." And I was like, "What? You guys are sick?" I'm like, "No, you sick, young." I was like, "Oh shit." We on that young Tongzing basis now? Because Stray Kids is big too. They're pretty big too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were big at that time too. So I was just like, oh, shoot, tight. Felt good. Shout out Stray Kids one time. I love them. Yeah, they're chill. They're super chill. Um, I only know like one of them, but… I love their songs. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Who do you… Who do you guys reach out to these days if you need advice? Like… Because I mean like role model is like role model. Yeah, but it's like… When you're having a hard time, you can't like… I mean, if you're friends with your role model, I guess you can. But if it's like someone like Tupac or mm-hmm. like J. Cole, you can't mm-hmm. be like, yo, man. like, yeah. Cole, I need some <laughs> advice. You know, I like, need yeah. some advice, big bro. <laughs> like a mentor, right? Yeah, yeah. like who do you guys kind of… When you need advice on something, who do you guys kind of reach out to? Damn, that's a hard one. Um, I go to my friends. Mm. Yeah. Mostly Joan. <laughs> Mostly Joan. Okay. Okay. I, I think I… You know, but I mean pop- she started like YouTube and everything first. So I'm uh-huh. sure she can help you out a lot. So if you… Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not just with that. Like mm. with everything. like. Yeah, I do feel like you guys are together a lot though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what, about you? what about you? I feel like I'm in a stage right now where it's like… I find myself looking for advice. But like when I tell them… I find myself like… Finding what I need while I'm explaining mm. like the situation mm. to them. Okay. And like… So you like already know the answer? But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like… <clears throat> okay. But even if not… I find like… All the close friends are like… Oh dang. I don't know about that. Like you know… It's, it's mm. usually stuff where it's like… Dang, you probably need to figure that out by yourself. Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, there, I mean I don't like ask that. him like crazy stuff. But it's mostly like stuff <laughs> that I know more details about. About the situation. Right, right, so right. So it's like… You know, I could tell them this and that, but they wouldn't know um, everything picture, to the right. T. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, you yeah, know, I feel like I'm at the stage where I'm in my in my life where it's like I gotta start figuring and all that out by myself. No, but I do feel like there's a lot of times where you already know the answer, yeah. but then you just kind of need to like say it out loud once for you to kind of kind of click. click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need to get like a friend you trust and just kind of like say it out loud once. Yeah, yeah. and then it's like. Okay, it's like, yeah. It's like, mm. I knew it all along, but I yeah. just needed to kind of… Yeah, yeah, one yeah. time, you know? It's like… True. I feel like there's a lot of instances like that. Um, and then there's a lot of times I feel like you know the answer, but you're like… Just in case. No. Mm-hmm. Let me ask my friends. Like, yeah. just in case. And then… I feel like most of the… Most of those times, your friends agree with you too. Like, on your… Like, choice or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I talk yeah. to my mom too with business stuff. Not really mm. if I'm having problems with friends or boyfriend or life or mm-hmm. whatever. But with work, I do confide in her and I ask her for advice. Mm-hmm. But she always tells me just to do it. She tells me to do everything. So sometimes just I'm like, it. no, I'm like, I uh. can't do everything. You know? <laughs> but she's mostly like, oh, hey, like why not? Mm. It's a good opportunity to do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do try to talk to her about everything and get some insight from her because she's very neutral. Um, oh, okay. She doesn't just take my side. She oh, okay. tries she's to see. She's unbiased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She tries mm. to see um, the exact situation in the middle. So I like to talk to her sometimes. Yeah, mm, that's okay. good. That's good. That's good. Mm. Yeah, I, th- I think I talk to my parents whenever it's about like, whenever there's like big money involved, like car mm. or house or something like yeah. that. I'm always like. I'm up, uh, I kind of want to get like a new car. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you think? Mm-hmm. Like that. And they're like, do you need it? I'm like, eh, not really. I don't know. I want it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like, uh, like big stuff, I do still talk to my parents about. But like other stuff, I think it's just mainly friends mm. that I confide in. True. Same. And yeah. I guess your friends could be considered mentors too. Like I don't think… Do you guys think mentors always have to be older than you? No. No, no right? They could mm. be younger. They could, It's like at all ages and… Yeah. I was about to say size too but that sounds kind of <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> all ages. I was thinking like all shapes and size and I was like all ages and 
Wait, now like, that's weird. <laughs> 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 Before we move on, mm-hmm. do you guys have a life motto? I would like to share mine, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were waiting it's for that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's by Frederick Douglass. It Frederick says, Douglass. For without struggle, there is no progress. Mm. So every struggle Ooh. is kind of like a stepping stone, a little baby step towards where you're trying to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. It's not failure unless you quit. Yeah. So… Just as long as you get back up, you keep doing it, yep. then you're going to get there someday. Yeah. Someday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someday. Someday. Alright, what about you, Ashley? I don't know if I have one. Yeah? Yeah. Try to make one right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anything. these days, it would be work hard, play hard. Because mm. before my contract ended, it was just all work, work, work. And mm-hmm. I always felt drained work, and work, super work, stressed work. out. Mm-hmm. But um, I… Learn to live in the moment because before I worked hard to secure my future and to not worry about my future so much. Mm. But I learned um, to just live as you go and kind of go with the flow and enjoy life in the moment too. That's and the best time. Yeah, there I think go. that's helped me a lot. And I'm definitely enjoying life more. So, mm. okay. yeah. Me yeah, too. you just said two right there. Go with the flow and work hard, play hard. All right, all right. All right. What about you, Peniel? Uh, for me, it's this too shall pass. Mm. And I like to translate it in like two ways. It's like one, it's like if you're having a hard time, like, yeah, like this is going to pass too. Mm -hmm. And another one, it's like, even if you're like doing really good, right? It's Mm -hmm. like, it's like a reminder to stay humble. Mm. Because this is going to pass too. So it's Mm -hmm. like stay humble. So it's like when you're like doing really good, it's like, all right, stay humble. Mm -hmm. It's a reminder to stay humble. And then when you're… Kind of having a hard time. It's like, oh, like, don't worry. Like, this is going to pass too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I like to keep that in mind. Nice, I like. This too shall pass. All right. Transitioning into mail time now. We got some people that sent stuff in. All right. It's from… Oh, it's from Discord. And the username is Vivi Justice Gang. Vivi Justice Gang. Vivi Justice Gang. All right. What is it like having the camera always on you as K-pop stars? Is it pressuring, exciting, or is it annoying? It's all of them. <laughs> <laughs> is that the question? That's yeah. It? yeah. Yeah. Is it is it pressuring, annoying, or exciting? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it is all of them. It's all of yeah. them. It is all of them. It's Depends on how I feel at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. I honestly don't like being in front of the camera. No. Yeah. I honestly don't like being in front of the camera though. I'm not. I don't like it when the attention is on me. Um, so it's like… After I like found out how much attention is on you at, on this job… I was like, I think I chose the wrong… <laughs> like, But like, I just enjoy being on stage mm-hmm. and like performing. But then I didn't really want all the extra like… Whatever like came with it. Like I didn't mm-hmm. want all the cameras. Like I don't like getting my picture taken. Mm-hmm. Um… I like taking pictures, but I don't like getting my picture taken. Um, and yeah, just like all the attention. <laughs> it's like, eh. eh, eh. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I, don't like, I don't like that. Like, well, like when I'm in public, I just want to be comfortable. Like I don't mm. want people like recognizing me like as a celebrity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like when I'm not… In front of the camera, I just want to be like a normal person, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think of myself as a celebrity either. I'm just like, all right. I'm Shin Dong. Camera's off. I'm just, yeah, yeah I'm just Peniel. Mm-hmm. It's like, whatever. But you just like performing in. Yeah, and but all of that comes along with it. So, yeah. This job uh, comes with a lot of extra shit. So. Too much extra. <laughs> you want to elaborate? I feel like you got some stuff you want to say. I mean, shoot. <laughs> We uh, there's just like so much that you have to do that you even though you don't want to do it like I think my biggest thing is there you're gonna have days where you feel like you know doo doo you know mm-hmm. and then those might be the days that happen to be the days where you gotta be in front of a camera ah right, but when right, you're in front right, of right, a right. camera you can't look like doo doo mm. you gotta smile you gotta like you know get through it yeah 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 but um I feel like that's one of the hardest parts what. Deliberately smiling when you're 
not in the mood to smile. Right, right, That's right, usually right. a hard one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I was just going to say that because… Um, you no, know, of course, there are going to be days when you just want to stay in bed and mm. not really do work. Do or maybe something horrible happens so you don't feel like being on camera and you're feeling moody. But you have to suck it up sometimes and yep. do interviews and smile on camera. And yeah, when it comes to those situations, I suck it up and I try to do my best in front of the camera because that is what I signed up for. Like I knew this life was going to be like that. Maybe I didn't know how bad it was going to be. But I definitely knew that if I wanted to be a professional um, singer or an artist or a celebrity, that's what kind of what you have to do. Right, you have to keep up like a certain professionalism. Uh, yeah, I do like being in front of the camera. But yes, in terms of broadcast or whatever, I didn't always enjoy it because I have to be in front of the camera and I have to pose and smile no matter how I'm feeling. Yeah. But, but with like vlogs when I film myself, I can mm -hmm. turn off the camera when I'm not feeling good. Mm -hmm. I can just be in front of the camera when I want to turn it on, when I want to document myself and I could turn it off mm -hmm. when I don't want to. But it's mm -hmm. like when you are in the actual spotlight, you can't do that. You They're can't. filming you at your worst and your best. Um, yeah. But… So how do you do? Either way. How do… Wait, what? So how do you do? <laughs> So yeah. how do you do? <laughs> <laughs> so how do you do in that spotlight? What do you do? Or like, how do you do? <laughs> <laughs> how do you do? How are you feeling right now? How do you do? <laughs> so you suck it up yeah. pretty much and you just handle business. Yeah. I think that's right. what I did. Yeah. yeah. No, you I did think. for sure. Because I know a lot of times it's like… All right. You don't want to do a certain interview. You don't want to answer a certain question in an interview. You don't want to go out on a certain show or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the company forces you to go out. Mm. And it's just like… Alright. It's like I don't want to be here mm. at all. But if you do that… Like you're going to pretty much not be able to do anything else. So mm. it's just like… You just got to smile through it. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I totally missed my chance to say it. But I was just going to like yell like… Okay, you're hired. Because like it felt uh, like such a perfect like uh, resume… Of like what we need in a company. <laughs> so, like, so how do you do? I worked through it. You're hired. <laughs> Completely missed Thank it you. though. But yes. I respect that. Yeah. Um, but it does make me kind of sad when people say… You don't deserve to feel like that or you shouldn't feel like that because mm. you signed yeah, up for it. True. But that's no one knows 100% what but, they're signing up for. Mm. Yeah, but at the end of the day though, the reason we do it is for the fans though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? mm -hmm. At the end so, of the day, it's for the fans and yeah. stuff, but that doesn't mean it's like, oh, like how can you be sad when you're receiving so much love like blah blah blah. It's like oh. it's like that's different. Mm -hmm. It's like receiving like love from fans. And it's like, yeah, that's awesome. It's very thankful. But sometimes it's like, you're just down. Mm -hmm. It's like, you don't really know what the reason is. But sometimes it's just down. You feel like doo-doo. Yeah, because yeah, we're a human too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, after work and after being on stage you're with drained. fans, you just come home. You just go to an yeah. empty home. You're yeah. by yourself. Yeah. You feel so empty. Yeah. Yeah, especially like, especially <laughs> after concerts. Uh -huh. It's pretty, it's pretty like… Yeah, it's like it's like for like two, three hours. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, and then you like come home and it's like empty. So it's like it's like oh dang, it's definitely different. It's mm -hmm. it's like because you're not. It's like you could be on social media or whatever. It's like, but you don't like. Oh, like I don't know how to phrase it, but it's like. If it's like a live show, it's like yeah, you can like feel that like energy, like yeah. feel the. But it's just like. Social media, it's like, there's like, oh, okay. It's like, you know, it's like, you don't really like feel that energy through mm -hmm. social media. And that's why I think you just need to keep good company around you at all times. Um, yeah, that's a good influence. Yeah, just it's, have good company. So whenever you're feeling down or whatever, it's just like, get that good company. And yeah. what's today's topic though? Roma. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I was trying all to right, think I'll of a way to like, get it together. Yeah, I was like… Got nothing. Yeah. yeah. I do yeah. think some level of professionalism is needed though. Not oh, just for, for celebrities sure, for sure. but in mm. at workplace. Wherever yeah. you are. Yeah, wherever you are. You can't bring your emotions or whatever happened at home out into work. And you can't be like at your desk like crying or whatever. I mean you can. I mean don't… It's okay <laughs> to cry but… I mean you shouldn't let that affect other people at your work. Right, yeah. And, as long yeah. as it's not yeah, affecting other people. Mm -hmm. And like… Um, Making them not able to work or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. But 
Sometimes. That's you, real adulting. Yeah. Just sucking it up. Sometimes and... you just gotta suck it up. Mm-hmm. Doing but, it. Yeah. Everyone sucks at sucking it up. But <laughs> you still try. <laughs> you know? I feel like we kind of went all over the place with role models today. It is um, a very broad subject. Kind of feel like we touched back on like mental health and stuff like that a little bit too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it was about role models today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyways, uh, we're going to start wrapping up now. Uh, if you wish to stay updated on the show, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Dive Studios. And full episodes will be up on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, on youtube.com slash dive pods and remember once again to subscribe and review this podcast five, five stars, stars only yes five stars and good comments only and yes thank you everyone for listening mm-hmm. and goodbye Peace. tell us who your role models are yeah yeah in the comments somewhere yeah. okay. and tell Ashley why she's your role model yeah <laughs> She doesn't, that's not what she doesn't I was know. So she doesn't know. She doesn't know. So let her know. We want specific <laughs> details. Yes. All right. Yeah. 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 Yes. Like a all starting, like everything. All right. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Right. Bye. Hey, did you like this video? If so, click the subscribe button. And make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. And listen to the entire audio episode on Spotify or Apple Podcasts.